What's up, guys? This is Jorge Yao back with another episode of Defensive Wins and Losses. Now, I'm on my uh, second account, hashtag Yao Squad, so the account that's in Legends. I'm currently at 5015, so 5015 trophies. I made it up as high as 5027 trophies, which was earlier today. And then I got one starred for 12 cups, I believe. Yeah, it was 12 cups by Dat Michael. It's a pretty good attack. Uh, I'll share the replay right now with you, and then I'll go into the real tree, which was the defensive win that I had last night at 49%. I gained one trophy from that, which was still good, but really the most important part was getting that 12-hour shield. So let's hop into that Michael's uh, attack. So luckily I was found by someone who was above 4,900 trophies, so he didn't take too many. Uh, a two-star would have been 24 trophies, which was which would put me still at uh, above 5,000, but I would like to at least be around 5,020-ish by the time the tournament ends in two days. So, um, And I don't have a shield for 19 hours, so I still have to go do another session and then um, go defense. And then I'll have a free session after that where I get to pop the one-day shield um, after that session. So hopefully things go well and I can end up in uh, at the end of the season above 5,000 so I get to bank some of those trophies that go into this uh, I guess previous season Hall of Fame thing. Um, as you can see if you look at these player profiles um, this person all-time best but you see where it says legend trophies 15 um, that's because he was he ended at 5,015 whereas Boz Hogg who ended at 4,997 um, banked zero legend trophies, which doesn't really make sense. It really isn't too fair because then that means that really the people that get lucky and push hard at the last few days, on the last few days of the uh, season, end up benefiting the most because they get those trophies banked. Because I know Boss Hog was pretty high up there for most of the season, but then towards the end, you know, he just maybe had a bad luck of strings of, you know, not finding any cups or getting two starred on defense and whatnot and put him down to below 5,000. So last season, the only person that banked any cups into his profile was Alm, Alm Ghoul. Sorry if I pronounced the name wrong, but Alm Ghoul. Um, so that's kind of that's kind of shitty, but it is what it is. We'll see. I know Alex Seed probably will bank some cups because he's pretty high up there. I think that's their current trophy record at 5083. He uh, surpassed a up in smokes record, which was previously set at like 5061. So 15 defensive wins. That's pretty impressive. Uh, using a pretty good base, um, but I'm still holding strong. Top 10, number eight. So not too bad. Number two in the U.S. and then my Jorge Yao account is at number nine, um, currently at 4928. I'm currently doing a session on it right now, and I have a two-day shield that I can use, so it's a free session. So hopefully, I can find some more cups before then. Uh, I actually got two starred on the same base. I used the same base layout last night, and I got two starred. I actually made my way up to 4945, I believe, last night, and then I got two starred for 29 cups. So that was pretty heartbreaking. But then again, you don't want to dwell, you just want to keep going. Okay, so let's get down to business. Let's show this replay. So this just happened literally probably like 30 minutes to an hour ago. Again, standard defensive base, not too much not too much uh, to really commentate on in terms of the layout. Like, it's pretty standard. I haven't really changed it much. But the guy went in, that Michael, VN Air Force, obviously Air Force, so uh, use Lava Lunian. Uh, so he goes in pretty well. He attacks from the bottom right and bottom left. Um, things are going well with uh, with his loons. He's at 22%. He freezes, and you see those uh, those loons in the middle. So you could have probably used those freezes a little bit better because there aren't that many loons there right now um, to do that much damage to the core. But at least he got those loons to the core, which is the most important part. So you see that the, that Mickey Mouse ear uh, rage um, configuration, which is very standard. Uh, maybe he could have dropped the freeze a little bit um, or saved one of the freezes for a little bit later because... You don't really need to freeze the single target inferno. You really want to just freeze the multi-target. And uh, one of the experts is actually on ground. You see that it's on ground, so you know, don't really need to freeze that, right? So it's really just the uh, maybe the air sweeper. No, actually, not even the air sweepers because it's uh, pointing the both opposite directions. So really, he could have just frozen the uh, the single target inferno and just waited on the second freeze spell. So he dropped the hog rider. You missed it, but he dropped he dropped the hog rider. Uh, I used that attack combination too on my uh, hashtag Yao Squad account with Lava Lunian. Um, because with Lava Lunian, it's harder to take out the clan castle with just your troops, with just the Lava Loons, uh, as opposed to drags where I take out the clan castle. So with this attack strategy, you'll see a lot of people now, they add in a hog 
just to tease out the uh, clan castle troops. And you see him tease out the lava loon, uh, the lava loon, and then he uses a bunch of minions that he saves up to uh, to take that out. So once he takes that out, he tries to pick off some uh, some buildings. He's at forty two percent, so he's not doing quite as well as he'd like. But you know, you can see he's trying to maybe go for that two star. But, uh, you know, he's got minions and stuff trying to pick off extra buildings on the side, which he does. And he's got the king trying to take out the queen. He does that too. And then you have the single target Inferno um, targeting some barbarians. So it's not too much. He's pretty much already got the one star on lockdown. Uh, nothing too much more to that. King is dead. He's at 47%. So he's like, okay, I have a queen left, one minion, three, uh, three wall breakers and four archers. Let's see what he can pick off. He picks off one, um, one elixir pump, so that's 48%. He can't pick off that one. There's really nothing else that he can pick off that I can see uh, either using uh, his three archers. I don't think there's anything in range of his three archers. Maybe that army camp, but that's only 1%. So he goes in and just goes for the safe one star. He doesn't even try for the town hall. And there you go, and that's the end of the raid. So he gains 12, he takes 12. I mean, that's pretty huge though at his level. He's at 49.50 something, so that's higher than my uh, my main account right now. So um, for him, he's just trying to get to legends. So, you know, 24 cups would have been huge for him, but he'll take the one star 12 cups. So let's go to the real main treat, which was last night, which I was so clutch about, so clutch about. So this guy, he's at 4391, I can't pronounce his name, but it ends at 141. He's in poflowers.jp, so maybe Japanese, probably Japanese. He goes with Lava Lunion, and usually Lava Lunion, I always get one starred. I've never, I don't think I've ever gotten two starred on this base with Lava Lunion, but I always get one starred at least, because this base isn't super heavily, uh good against Lava Lunion, it's mainly good against ground troops in terms of uh, like go wee wee, go wipe, so on and so forth. Uh, not so much against drags either, this base is not really designed for air basically. Uh, it does do well funneling as you can see, but you still see you know Lava Loons going in, or the Loons going into the center, but he ran out of rages. Uh, he didn't really drop his rages too well because he ran out in the core, he didn't really do the Mickey Mouse years, so um, that, that part kind of hurt him a little bit, but he's at 35%. He's at 39%, you know, he's got minions picking things off. He's got one giant and six wall breakers, and that's really just to make sure that those wall breakers get into the core, and uh, because the, the giant basically tanks any sort of damage while the wall breakers go in unscathed. So right now he's at 39%, uh, he's got a level 35 hero uh, king, level 37 archer queen. So there you go, he drops them in. He, he's right now he's only going for the one star really I mean there's no other way but the thing is he drops both heroes at the same spot which I don't think is the greatest idea what he could have done was drop the king probably around down here to pick off a few percent and then drop the queen up here and drop a f and get a few percent but he drops it at the same location and that's kind of what hurt him um, sometimes I do drop it at the same location depending on what um, what the configuration is and how many buildings I can pick up but because see, you notice because he didn't take out the clan castle and nothing came out you know something is going to come out so usually when that happens I'd like to split my king and my queen when I'm trying to pick off those extra percentages because you know if if your queen gets uh, stalled by the lava hound then your queen is basically screwed for for a while because all the defenses are attacking uh, your queen while your queen is stalled by the lava hound so that that speaking, you know, uh, in this case, I would definitely would have dropped my king on one end and my queen on the other end. I would have probably teased out the lava hound with my king, but the lava hound doesn't do much damage, right? So I, the king can still do work while the lava hound is attacking the king, and then I would use my queen to pick off damage on probably like this side right here. So that's kind of his first mistake and biggest mistake, because as you can see, you know, the the lava hound is going in there, the the balloon is going in there, the king's already dead, he's at 48% and he's like, oh man, I could probably get this one star right now. And boom, he hits that and he's at 49%, that storage right there is basically like one or two shot away, literally one or two shot away from getting him that 50% one star, but look at that. That, that Lava Hound, even with the Poison Spell, is just stalling that Queen so heavily while that Expo and that Mortar is doing just so much damage to her. It's just like, look at that stalling, look at that stalling. She couldn't she couldn't even pick off that one, all she had to do was one hit that uh, Builder Hut and he uh, that Queen would have gotten that 50% for that 141 guy. But 
What a clutch, what a clutch defense on my end. And that literally got me to my personal best last night, uh, which was at 50-27. And, uh, well, no, my personal best was at 50-24 or 25, and then I gained uh, two or three cups today. Uh, let's see how many cups did I gain. I gained... Yes, I, I gained four cups today. So, my personal best was at 50-23. So, that's, that's what it was. So, I was at 50-22, and then that one defensive win game got me to 50-23, personal best. And then literally gained four cups in six hours, which was kind of crappy, but that's what happens at this level. You know, it's hit or miss. Sometimes you get good attacks, sometimes you don't. Um, but overall, pretty good. I'm still at 50-15. Uh, so that does it for this episode of uh, defensive attacks and uh, wins and losses, excuse me. Um, so this is Jorge out. Uh, thanks for listening in and tuning in. Uh, if you like this video, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.